Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your prenatal body weight hit workout. So this workout is great for anybody in any trimester of pregnancy, as long as you have been cleared by your doctor or midwife for exercise during pregnancy, and you listen to your body and monitor your intensity level. Of course, I'll be giving you a lot of different options, so work to your fitness level and to how you are feeling in your pregnancy. You don't need any equipment for this workout, just a little bit of space to move. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so I can keep making completely free workouts for you here on YouTube and check out all of my other prenatal and postnatal workouts. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so let's start just with a little march. We just wanna get everything moving. You can roll those shoulders to the back and to the front. During this workout, as I said before, it is a HIIT workout, high intensity interval training, but I am going to give you low impact and high impact options depending on how you are feeling and where you are in your pregnancy. Big deep breath in. Certainly fine to do high impact if that feels good for you. The thing we wanna watch out for is that we're monitoring our intensity level. So again, using the talk test, take those arms wide, leaning, roll through, and making sure that we can carry on a conversation when we're working out. If your heart rate is getting up so high that let's just do a little reach without twisting. If your heart rate is so high that you can't talk, you wanna take it down a notch. So pay attention to how you feel. And let's take it out here and flat back down. Also, if you are further into that third trimester or even second, Pay attention to how you feel. If you want to choose those high impact options, it certainly is fine and safe to do so, but just be aware that we have more pressure pushing out on that abdominal wall, down on that pelvic floor. So totally fine to go low impact as well. And I'm going to give you options. All of it should get your heart rate up and all of it should get your muscles working. Walk it in, in a safe and appropriate way. Let's do a little step touch for pregnancy. So we're gonna be working in some circuits designed to get the heart rate up, bring it back down, up and down. Four moves in each circuit. Let's take the heels forward. That we will do 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. We'll start with a more cardio-based move and then let's bring those hamstrings up. We will go to an upper body, then a lower body, and then a core. All of them will have a component of strength and cardio, and all of them will have options to choose from. In between those circuits, we will, let's bring the knees up, nice and easy. We will have a minute to breathe and grab some water. You can keep moving, keep doing that cardio, or you can take a real rest, and I'll talk you through our next circuit. The first four circuits are all gonna be standing. We'll get through them quickly. And then our last circuit will all be down on the mat a little more of a core and flexibility mobility, but it will be just those last five minutes. So do a little stretch out to the front. There we go. And then let's just do a little squat, half squat, roll that hip. So I'm gonna get you moving and talk you through that first circuit. Again, work to your level, listen to your body. We are just here to move. As I always say, I want you to be where you are today. That applies to all my workouts, but especially in pregnancy. So just by showing up here and moving your body, take it back to that step touch, you are already successful. So thank you for being here, mama. I know it's not always easy. So you keep with this step touch. If you wanna take it to a little hop, you can, but you don't have to. Watch me for your first four moves. So our first cardio, we're just doing a little tap out, tap out, you can do low impact, or you can get a little jump and we're gonna reach that arm across. So we get a big stretch and we also get that tap for cardio. Then we're going shoulder press, chest fly. Press and fly, nice and strong with those body weight arms. You can add the knee if you want a little extra. Our lower body is gonna be that good old squat. If you want, you can add an up on the toes or a jump. I'll show you once we get there. And then some strong knee raises for our core. All right, so go ahead, get ready for that tap out. Breathe, engage that core, here we go. So I want you to think about with that core engagement, we're not holding our breath, 
but we're keeping everything pulled in. Gentle lift on that pelvic floor. You can reach that arm across. Again, you can keep it here. Or if you want a little more cardio, this feels good for you. If you want a little extra legs, you can take it lower, but it is up to you. Listen to your body. Be where you are today. 10 seconds to go. Paying attention to the core. In and lifted, but not squeezing. Three, two, one, and breathe. So we're not squeezing or pulling everything in here. Just think about that TA breathing. Everything is lifted and controlled. All right, so we're doing a shoulder press, a chest fly. If you have weights, you can add them. Otherwise, imagine you're pushing the air and pushing. Here we go. Up and in. I know it's gonna feel easy at first, but if you really think about engaging the muscles, and again, you can pick up your pace, you can get those knees going. You want a little extra movement. Push, push, squeeze in those arms. I know I say that and then immediately I'm feeling it. Good little burn. If you want a little less cardio, keep it here. If you want to take it slower, you can or quicker as long as you have good form. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So all this upper body, you can add weights if you want them. Otherwise, just use your body weight. It is a body weight hit workout. All right, go into our squat. Feet about shoulder width apart. Get as low as you can. Open up those knees a bit, especially if you got a little more belly. Second or third trimester. Get low. Here we go, 40 seconds. Down and up. Drop it down and up. So toes are forward, hips to the back. Again, if you need to open up those knees, you can. You want to sit in a chair if that makes it easier, totally fine. If you want to get a little more cardio, you can go up on the toes or a little jump, a little squat jump, up to you. Again, just keep it controlled, core control, lifting in the pelvic floor, landing soft. It's a little less on your knees, but it is up to you because everybody is different on where they are in their journey. Three, two, one. Relax, 20 seconds. I want you to really use that 20 seconds to catch your breath, to recover. But if you want to, you can keep it moving or keep it moving here. All right, our last one is our core. So think about everything pulling in. It's not a crunch, it's a lift. Here we go. Core's engaged, hands up. We're just bringing the knees towards the hands. Not a lot of flexion or extension, but engagement. If you want more cardio, you can pick up your pace. Yes. Right, nice and strong. We got about 15 seconds. If you want even more cardio, you can add a little jump with it, but it's optional. Yes. Four, three, two, breathe tap it out. So grab a sip of water. That first circuit is done. A little warm up circuit, we'll call that. So grab a sip. You have one minute in between where I'm going to talk you through your next few moves. So you can just keep resting and tapping. Or if you want to go back to that cardio, you can take it here. It's up to you, whatever works for you. So your next four moves. We've got our very traditional jumping jack. Here's your low impact version or your high. Nice and light, landing soft. Either one is gonna get the heart pumping, do what's best for you. Then we're gonna push it back. So we're gonna push for tries. We're here, 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 here. Triceps and back, we'll add some tap backs as we go. So back of the arms, back of our body, a little bit of movement through the legs if you want. And then we're gonna open up on a transverse squat. So toes out, down, bring it up. So open on the diagonal, here to here. And then we're going side knee, 40 seconds, side knee, 40 seconds. So one extra minute on this round. All right, go ahead and get ready for your jacks. Here we go. So full jacks or low impact jacks. 
And listen, these low impact jacks will get your heart rate up. Strong arms like we talked about. If you want to be here, you can. But again, pay attention. If you have any pelvic floor issues, heaviness, anything like that, I want you to keep it low impact. If you're noticing any coning or doming in the center, keep it low impact. It does not mean you're not working hard. We're just protecting your core. Otherwise, if you're feeling strong, keep it going here. Five, four, three, two, and breathe. Yes, good. All right, so we're gonna push back. Actually, let's go 20 and 20. 20 push for tries, 20 squeeze in for back. Zip up in that core, everything's pulled in with that belly, start with the push, here we go. Push, elbows up, squeezing in the shoulder blades, and then if you wanna add those taps, again, imagine that you're pushing the air up to the sky. Not just here, but here. Elbows up, you should feel that back working. Yes! Keep those taps. Squeeze those thumbs together. So you're getting all down through the back, still getting the triceps, still getting the shoulders, tapping it back, right? I know it looks simple, but hopefully you feel good burn in your arms while we get a little break from the higher cardio. Three, two, one. Yes, shake that out. I know those moves are deceptive. You think you're not feeling them and then you do. All right, back to our higher impact we're gonna take it for that transverse. Open up diagonal, bring it in. You can add the jump if you want, but start, it's like a plie on the diagonal. Here we go, open up wide and up. So these hip opener moves are really good in pregnancy because we really need our hips to learn to be open, right? But be careful, because we've got that relaxing in our body. We don't wanna go too far. Do what feels good for you if you want. You can add a little jump with it, but it's up to you. Just get low to high. You can reach down, reach up. That'll give you a little extra as well. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, good. There's that heart rate again, right? Catch your breath. We're gonna go side knees, both sides. So you can have this hand out here to here, you don't have to really crunch it. Just get those obliques working. If you need a little extra balance, grab onto the wall or a chair, take it here. Here we go, up, down. So start here, we're gonna go 40 seconds each side. And if you want, you can make it a little quicker for cardio. Not too much bend. Make sure you're engaged here. Arm out or here. Yes, good, breathe. There we go, I know it's gonna be a long 40 seconds. You're gonna feel it here, you're gonna feel that hip. If it bothers your one leg, just take it down in between. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Little stretch over, right? Same thing, other side. Core engaged, arm out, bring it up. Not too much twisting. We're gonna focus obliques, hips, core engagement, and cardio. Grab onto the wall if you need to. Here we go, 40 seconds. You can keep it small, here to here, or up. Yes, good. Breathe. Keep it going. Again, this arm can be out, this arm can be down too. Bring it up. Little quicker for cardio, but still keeping that engagement. Yes, good. 10 seconds to go. You can go slower than me. You can go faster as long as you're controlled. Five, four, three, two, and breathe. Yes, shake that out. All right, team, catch your breath. Grab a sip of water, second round, down. Woo. All right. So again, you tap it out. You can get a real rest for one minute or you can take it back to those low impact or high impact jacks. 
It's up to you. Watch me, your next four. We're gonna take it to a side lunge and up. So I want you to think of this more of a cardio move, but if you want some extra legs, get low with it, high. And if you want, you can make it a little more of a shuffle. It's up to you, be where you are today. Our next move, we're gonna do jabs. So this is our upper body. So I want you to think back, strong, punch, punch. Watch my knees and my hips. We'll start here, we'll give you some options to speed it up for cardio, but also really strong through your arms, shoulders, and back. So there's your upper body, but also cardio, right? Then we're gonna take it to a regular lunge. So we're gonna go 20 seconds here, 20 seconds other side. If you want, you can take it here. Then we're gonna go, whoo, little side leg. So we're gonna cross it behind. All right, go ahead, I'll show you once we get there. Let's jump into that side lunge. Here we go, 40 seconds, and up. Down, and up. So if you want it more cardio, you keep it a little higher. If you wanna really get those hips, glutes, you get a little lower. Low impact, step into it, step through. A little higher, lean and lean. So side to side, right? Good, breathe. There we go. Take it down, take it up. And reach. Good, and relax, excellent. Whew. All right guys, so with your jabs, bring it up to here. Strong in the back, strong in the arms, core engaged, here we go. So jab. Jab, we're just standing straight on, pull back, and then if you want, make sure we're not twisting in the torso. We want full body rotation. You can keep it nice and slow or pick it up, but either way, strong arms. So we get the back, we get the back of the arms, we get the shoulders. Yes, punch. You got 10 seconds, make it good, five, four, three, two, one, relax, yeah, there's those arms, all right guys, so let's take it, lunge and lunge both sides, let's do a full 40 seconds, we don't need 20, so you can start regular, tapping it back, use this for balance, you can go two sides, if this bothers you at all being on one leg, just take it to a regular squat, here we go. So drop it down, bring it up. Drop it down, bring it up. Little modification, you can just tap back, tap in, but keep this front leg doing the work. Take it down, up. Again, if one leg bothers you, maybe you have some SI joint pain, or sciatica, you can always do a squat. If you want, power it up, power it up. Totally optional just to give you a little extra power, a little extra hit, it's up to you. Five seconds before we switch our sides. <sighs> Breathe. Last one, yes. Good. Other side, so getting those legs working, getting that heart rate up. Start slow, you can just tap it, you can get low, balance if you need it, core is engaged, in in that deep core, up on that pelvic floor, here we go. Down and up, down and up. Yes, and good. You can be here to here. Whew. You know me. When I make that sound, that means I'm getting off balance. Balance is already off a little in pregnancy, so do what works for you. If you need to hold on, you're still gonna get that work, I promise. Or if you need to modify, not go as low. Down and up, power. Yes, good, keep it going. Yes. Three, two, one, and relax, good. All right, so side leg, front leg, it's your core, watch me. Front leg, side leg, front leg, side leg. Again, not too much flexion, it's more just the engagement, and then the obliques, strong arms at the top. Here we go, front. Side, front, side. 
here and here. Core is engaged, not a lot of flexion. Either way, just think, shh, shh. yes. Pulling it in and up, straight legs. We're also building in a little mobility because we tend to get tight in the back of those hamstrings and hips, right? So we're here to stretch them out. <sighs> Strong arms, yes, good. Three, two, one, and relax. Grab a sip of water, guys. All right, so last one up top. I'm gonna give you lots of options. I'm gonna try to push that hit a little bit more without going crazy with it. If you wanna keep that cardio going, go back to that side lunge with a little shuffle or no shuffle. You got one minute to breathe. Keep the cardio if you want or take a real break. Watch me here. Last one standing, guys. So we're here. We're gonna do that hinge motion. So I want you to think of it as a nice, good stretch on your way down. Reach it up. <laughs> Woo! Sneezing. Oh, where did that come? I looked right at my lights. If you want, you can bring one knee up. Excuse me. You can bring one knee up. I'll give you an option to make it a little bit of a jump too if you want. Otherwise here, hinge and up. Gives it that nice, nice good stretch and then that hinge is really functional, right? Then we're gonna take it to a little out and up. Out and up. Strong arms out and up. Then our legs, we're gonna do a curtsy lunge each side. I'm gonna give you options. Then we've got a standing mountain climber for our last core that's really gonna drive our heart rate. All right, here we go. Think of it as a stretch and a cardio. Take it down, reach it up, and up. Knees if you can. So again, this hinge is functional. Watch my back. What we don't wanna do is here. Keep the elbows and shoulder blades pulled in. If you wanna take it, little jump little jump you can but I want you to get that stretch again the hinge is so functional because what do we do all day long pick up our babies and toddlers reach into the crib lean in the changing bed right not to mention cleaning up all the toys five four three two breathe good give yourself a little stretch out of that hopefully that felt good all right nice strong arms out strong arms up out and up. You can do just the arms or you can tap with it. It's up to you. Here we go. Tap. Again, this is also mobility to open up the chest, everything in pregnancy, and then in postpartum brings us forward. So open it up strong. Reach, reach. Huh. You decide if you want to get a little lower or a little quicker, again, to get that hit component. It's up to you, but it's a mobility move. It's a flexibility move, and it's strength for that upper body and a little bit of bonus cardio, right? Almost done up top. Up, up, breathe. Last one, and relax, good. All right, curtsy lunge, 40 seconds each side. So if you can, Cross it down and behind, get low, tap it out. Get low, tap it out. If you need to modify, just take it back again. Keep that front leg working. Here we go, 40 seconds. Low and up. This is another one that's gonna play with your balance. So grab onto something if you need to. Totally fine. In that hip and breathe. Hands up and down if you want a little extra. And up. Your heart rate should get up just by the fact that we're working all of those big muscles in the lower body. And breathe low to high. Good. Again, you can modify here. Tap and tap. Get those hips. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Yes, good. And breathe. Same thing, other side, guys. So core engage, pull that deep core in, transverse abdominis, pelvic floor up without holding your breath. Either tap behind or get low. Here we go, 40. Low and up. Totally fine. 
modified, you're not getting as low, but you're keeping that leg working, or use the wall or a chair, the couch for balance. Good, breathe, yes. I'm hoping you feel more energized than when you started, but if you're getting tired because our body is already working so hard in pregnancy, remember why you're here. You are committed to being the healthiest, strongest version of you for you and for your baby, for your family. Three, two, one. You should be proud of that, mama. Whew. Sometimes it feels easier to sit on the couch and there's times and days for that too, but I am glad that you are here. Our last move standing, think of your mountain climbers that we do on the mat. Of course, we will go into that plank position and take it here. Drive it up, climb the mountain. Here we go. Low impact is here. High impact is here. If that feels good for you to go high impact, otherwise, just climb that mountain. Whew, kind of a good metaphor for pregnancy, right? We just gotta get to the top of the mountain. Whew, breathe. It's a bit of a roller coaster too, right? And then, as many of you know, or maybe if this is your first pregnancy, so is parenthood. <laughs> but it's all worth it. It's so fun and hard. Three, two, one, and relax. Good, catch your breath, grab a sip of water, go ahead and bring it down to the mat. Four quick moves on the mat, then we stretch it out. So if the mat is not your jam, I just want you to take a few minutes and stretch. Otherwise, we're gonna keep it simple. All right, so we're gonna take it, whew, breathe with our lower body. So we're gonna come into a bridge. So watch me here. If you want, you can prop yourself up on those pillows, especially second or third trimester, some pillows underneath your head, neck, and shoulders. Otherwise, we're not gonna be here very long and we won't be flat. So it is safe, but go by how you feel. We're just gonna go with our bridge to squeeze in the glutes, connect with the core, and bring it down. Then we're taking it 20 seconds into a side plank. You can be on your knees. I'm gonna stay on my knees, but it's up to you. 20 seconds, other side. Then we're gonna take it to some upper body and we're gonna go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, but we're gonna stay on our knees to protect our cores. And then we're gonna take it to a bird dog. So go ahead and bring it down, guys. We'll get through this fast. Whew, 40 seconds. Here we go, breathe everything in and up and down. So a little bit of bonus mat work. We're done with all of our hit cardio, but I think it will keep your heart pumping. Breathe, little lift, engage that core, pull everything in, lift up gently on that pelvic floor as we pull that deep core in. And release, relax. Yes, 10 seconds. It's strengthening the back as well. Good, lower body, glutes and hamstrings connecting in the core. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good, you can get a little stretch through the hamstrings if that feels good for you. Roll over gently onto your side. We got 20 seconds each side in this side plank. You can be up on the toes as long as you feel engaged. You don't see any coning or doming, or you can be on your knees with me. Ready, here we go. So here or here. We're all the way up. We're just keeping it engaged. Everything's pulling in. If you're in that third trimester, if it feels like too much pressure, you just take a little break, get a little stretch here. Otherwise, keep it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Swing those legs around to that other side. Take it here. We've got 20 seconds, knees or toes. Bring it up. Here to here, again, pull everything in, lift up on that pelvic floor, pulling that deep core in towards each other, whatever you need to do to have more stability. And if that doesn't feel good for you, then you just keep it down. And breathe, five, four, three, two, and one, good. Let's get one little upper body core and then one more core here and then we stretch it out. So on your knees, and this is to protect that core. If you're in that first trimester, your belly really hasn't popped yet, 
you're fine to be up onto your toes, but otherwise we wanna protect that core here. Join me here, here we go. We're going down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So I want you not to use your hips, right? Use those arms to really push through and make sure that you're staying lifted in that core. So everything's up and in, right? Everything's lifted. Down, down, up, up. So this is that plank press we do in a lot of body weight workouts, but we're just keeping the core out of it and keeping it in the upper. Last five, four, three, two, one. Sit back and stretch. All right, last one, it's your bird dog. It's core and back. A little tip, guys, we tend to sit back into our bird dog. Bring those hips forward and you're gonna feel more of that core engagement. Here we go. So alternating and breathe. Because we're using our glutes, we tend to wanna lean back a little bit, which gets more glutes and back. But if we bring those hips forward, we're gonna feel that core engagement. We're still getting all the way through the back, but good. And then we're gonna get a stretch. We are so close. Keep lifting, keep everything up and in, lift up on that pelvic floor and breathe. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and relax, yes. Good, so if it is comfortable for you, I want you to take those knees out and really sit back into that child's pose. Let's get a quick little stretch. You did it, whoo. And breathe. And then just come up onto all fours. I want you to round up cat to cow, but we're not gonna do too much rounding. So just kind of inhale and exhale. Really small, working through the spine. Not too much flexion and extension, just on the breath. Inhale, lift, pelvic floor, and exhale. Good, and breathe. Come to a seated position. If it's comfortable for you, take those knees out. You can also move this sitting at the edge of a chair or a couch or a bench. Ah, sit however is comfortable for you. Hopefully that felt good. Just enough of that heart rate push while keeping you in that safe range. I will always remind you that there is nothing wrong with going hard in your workouts in pregnancy as long as you are monitoring your body and being careful. There are certain things that we do want to avoid or always modify, but in terms of your heart rate, listen to your body, make sure you can talk and do what feels good for you. Reach behind. There's no shame in modifying because everything feels, feels different. Pregnancies feel different. My first one, I felt movement wise, I felt like I could do a lot more. My second one, I was a little achier, a little tighter, a little more swollen. So everybody is different and every pregnancy is different. So listen to your body. Whoo, and breathe. Be sure to check out all of my other prenatal videos and postnatal workouts when you are there. And don't forget to subscribe. That helps me be able to keep making completely free workouts for you. Thank you for showing up today, mama. You are so strong. Whew. Roll those shoulders a couple times. Release that tension. One big deep breath in and out. And you did it. That was your prenatal body weight hit workout. Great job, everybody.